Hey guys, it's your boy Fetters here, and I have had uh, several people ask me while I'm streaming, what's my stream setup, what's the best way to set up your stream, uh, what are the best settings, how do you make it work with the Elgato properly, so I figured I'd make a video, this is just for OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, the regular, the first one, the original, not OBS multi-platform. We're going to go over how to set it up, the best settings and also um, how to make it work properly with the Elgato, how to sync up the audio. So first of all, this is OBS when you first open it, this is what it looks like. Okay, these are my, this is how I have all my stuff set up down here. But the first thing you do is you're going to go to settings. And in the settings, you're going to have your general tab here and it, you select your language, your setting profile, which I've got mine set for the Twitch because I stream to Twitch. Um, that's pretty much all you need on this first one. Um, go down to encoding. On encoding, uh, there you got several options here. You have the X264, QuickSync, or NVIDIA. Since I have an NVIDIA card, um, video card in my laptop, I use NVIDIA, um, the encoder. So that's what I use mine. X264, if that's your only option, go with the X264. Um, but I use NVIDIA. Uh, you always need to enable constant bitrate and CBR padding. I always have those enabled works perfectly fine uh, for your max bitrate this is a question that gets asked a ton what does your upload speed have to be uh, you know so on and so on and so on your upload speed needs to be roughly what you put on your max bitrate I say 80% of what your internet is so say like me I have a 2.5 upload which is horrible low upload for streaming but I make it work it works okay so I have 2.5 as my upload speed I set my bitrate to 1800 see uh, you will you know 2.5 is actually 2500 KBS so I set mine at 1800 works perfectly so 80% of whatever your upload speed is in KBS okay KBS so if you have 2500 I set mine at 1800 if you have 2000 it's like 1600 Okay, you don't want to take up too much of your upload speed because then it affects your gameplay. Down here, your audio encoding, I leave all those alone. Next, come down here to broadcast setting. This is where you set up your streaming setup. So you're going to go to mode, live stream, streaming service. I select Twitch. If you use another service, just click it. You can choose whatever service. You choose your um, the area or the the server that you're gonna you're gonna stream to your stream key I, I'll leave mine the auto reconnect I said it at 10 seconds um, this is just if you're gonna save your videos to a file which I don't do that okay video when your video settings my video adapter I'm using my Nvidia you know my Nvidia card so that's what that's what you, if you have a video card click it there and um, base resolution this is also another topic that's talked about a lot by a lot of different people Okay, my I stream with a laptop, and its its uh, resolution is different. It's like 1366 by 780 something. It's really weird. I set my best resolution to 1280 by 720 with you know the aspect ratio 16 to 9. Works fine. I would just leave it at 1280 by 720 because that's a normal streaming style. It's high. This technically high def. Set it at 1280 by 720. For downscale, if you have worse internet, you can downscale it. I don't believe in downscaling. I think leaving the resolution at what your original resolution is helps it work better because you're not having to process that, downscale it. It just takes a step out of there. So I leave it alone. I leave my resolution downscale. I leave it at none. 1280 by 720. Downscale none. Frames per second. Okay, a lot of people want to stream at 60 frames per second. That takes a ton of internet. Okay, it takes a ton of upload. 30 seconds looks fine, or 30 frames per second looks fine. You don't have to have it at some crazy high FPS. Okay, 30 frames per second looks good. A lot of your viewers on Twitch, YouTube, wherever you stream to, are not going to be able to watch it at 60 frames per second are not going to be able to watch a high def you know a 1080p broadcast because they don't have the internet to watch that so there's really no point in 
broadcasting in that high of FPS because there's no point. No one's going to be able to watch it. Same thing with your resolution. If you re if you have it, you know, 1080p, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to watch that because they can't download it that fast. Audio. For right now, just leave all that alone. You can set your desktop audio to default. You put in your microphone, which I'm using my headset, my Turtle Beaches. Um, you can select your audio device here. Um, I always say show only connected devices because why would you want a device that's not connected? If you want to push to talk, you can set all that stuff up here. I don't even worry about that. Hotkeys. This is where you can set up hotkeys for your stream. We'll go over that at a later time. Advanced. Okay. Um, I use multi-thread optimization. Scene buffering time. Set that at 2,000 milliseconds. That will come in handy later, especially if you use an Elgato. Set your scene buffering time to 2,000 milliseconds. Okay, scrolling down, you have your video um, encoder settings. I set it on streaming, encoding profiles main. Always set your keyframe interval, especially for Twitch at 2, because that's what Twitch likes it at. Constant frame rate. Leave all the rest of this not even messed with right now at all. Just leave it alone. Um... And that's pretty much all the settings that you really need. Once you get all those in there, you can come down here. You can do a, uh, you know, your noise gate, which is where you set it up to, you know, your high end and your low end. I'm not worried about that right at the moment. Okay, you get all that stuff set up. You're good to go. You just add your, add your overlay, your game, all that good stuff. You can stream. Good to go. All right. Secondly, for Elgato, if you want to stream with the Elgato. And everyone has the problem with the audio offset because there's a delay that's caused from the Elgato. There's a delay between the what the Elgato gets and what it sends to the computer. Okay, it's about 1.5 seconds, or about 1,500 milliseconds. To combat that, the best settings that I have found that works fantastic for me, that is better than any of the other ways that I've that I've heard. Okay. Go to your settings. This is only if you're using Elgato. Okay, you're going to come down to... Where am I looking at? Your... Oh, do, 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 nope. You're advanced. Okay, advanced. Scene buffering time. This is where I told you your scene buffering time. Set it at 2,000 milliseconds. Because you're already getting a 1,500 millisecond delay from the Elgato. So you need that to be 2,000 so that we can do what we're about to do. So set it at 2,000. Then you're going to come down here to, where is it at? Global audio, off, uh, global audio sync offset milliseconds. What this is going to do is it's going to set all of your audio to delay. So you're getting... Like normally it's about 1500 milliseconds for some people it's 1400 some it's 1600 it really depends mine's about 1500 milliseconds what this will do when you come in here to your global audio offset you want to change that to 1500 what that's going to do do is delay your audio all the audio that comes through Elgato, that comes through your your OBS it's going to delay it by 1500 milliseconds which will sync it up with the delay from the Elgato. So you want to set this at 1500 milliseconds for your audio. Okay? So you're going to put 1500 milliseconds here, 2000 in your scene buffering time. Then you're going to want to come down here to your Elgato. You're going to click on properties. Now, with the Elgato, where am I looking at here? Okay, you have your use buffering milliseconds here. Well, actually, not there. Over here in your output audio to stream only. You're going to set your audio sync offset to minus 1500. Okay, because you've put a 1500 de second delay on all of the audio coming through, the audio from the Elgato is also going to be 1500 milliseconds, and then you're adding another 1500, so you have to take that away. So you want to come down here to your audio sync offset and set it to minus 1500. You cannot change that to minus 1500 if you have not set the other one to 2000 like I showed you earlier. 
So you set this to minus 1500. That syncs the audio from the Elgato with the audio with everything that's going on in stream. That, that makes the delay only 1500 seconds for everything. Okay. Then you're going to come down to your cam, especially if you're using a cam. You're going to want to go to properties and you're going to want to see where it says use buffering milliseconds. You're going to want to set that to 1500 milliseconds. That syncs up your cam. So your cam's got the same delay as everything else. Now everything is synced up with the Elgato with the exact same offset the Elgato has. So now everything is going to have the same offset and it's going to look it's going to look perfect. It's going to look just like it is in real time, just as if you were playing a PC game or streaming from the PC. Everything will be synced up correctly. Those are the settings that I use that work phenomenally well with the Elgato. The only thing is if you switch from PC games to, you know, uh, your Elgato like I do a lot, you're going to have to go in and change those settings for whenever you're doing a PC game. You wanna, you're going to want to take those settings away and then only add them whenever you're playing the, uh, using the Elgato because then if you play PC games then every, all the audio is going to be off and all that good stuff. So just leave it, you know, leave it set like that for your Elgato, change it for your PC games. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Those are my best settings and the Elgato settings. Um, make sure you subscribe, click that subscribe button below, help us grow. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Check out the stream, twitch.tv slash Brandon Fetters, and you guys have a great day. Peace.